Hi folks, it's Benita. I'm here to share some exciting news with you. I have been um, selected to be on the design team for uh, JNS Hobbies and Crafts. I'm super excited and I wanted to share with you what I got in my first package from them um, to show you what I'll, what I'll be using to be creating something for you um, very soon. I actually already got it planned, and um, but I wanted to show you what I got so you'll be excited to um, see this. So this will be a very short video. Okay, so here's everything that I got. Um, again, remember I've been praising and praising and praising this art glitter glue. You know, um, if you do not have this art glitter glue, this is an absolute must have that you need for your crafting in your um, uh, album making world. It's incredible, it dries clear, it holds great, you need that. And right along with that art glitter glue makes a very fine tip and my well-used bottle, I'll show you, I have a very fine tip on there. And you really, even if you have the glue and you don't have that fine tip, you need to get that. And it has a special pin in there. Um, and you can't just use any ordinary pin because it'll rust. So those are the two critical pieces to adhere your, your book right along with the score tape. Score tape also, um, I do use it. Um, I don't use it as much as I used to, but it's very important um, for many parts of our album that we need the score tape. So that's kind of the, oops, I have one more. Shelly carries the best magnets that you can get. They're thin and they um, uh, are very strong. And so they, um, I believe they come in a package of 10 when you buy them. And they're, if you're looking for a magnet where to get, check these out get them from her shop because they're great. One really fun piece that came in here that I was just giggling and was wearing actually yesterday is this lovely bracelet. They're all the hot thing now. My husband actually has one on, not, not the sparkly one though, um, that it says live, love, and sparkle. And isn't that the truth? So I'm going to put that on right now. And as I craft, you'll be seeing that. Isn't that fun? Okay. Also what I use and I and from Shelly is the Dritz three the large hook and eye. And these hook and eyes are what we are going to use when we um, make a closure for our album. They're easy to use and great and um, these are antique brass color which is going to go perfectly with the paper that I have. Also um, is included was an EK to, um, paper punch. Now, I'm sure many of us own lots and lots of paper punches, and in my days, I've owned every brand there was. I'm here to tell you that EK Punch punches your paper like butter. It's incredible to use, easy to line up, um, and they are uh, probably the top of the line um, right now. This is a very small scallop with dots. It is um, called this dotted scallop. That's kind of, yep, there we go. The dotted scallop, you can see that in there. And it goes perfectly with the paper that we're going to use for this album. It's um, pretty, petite. It's just, it's a beautiful punch and you'll absolutely love it. This is another one of those must-haves in your arsenal of um, punches. EK tools are the best. Okay, before we get down to this beautiful stuff here, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I got a piece of, um, because I asked for it, some clear acetate um, plastic sheets. A medium, it's medium weight plastic sheet. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use them in this album because I already had my album planned, but we will be using these. If I don't use it in this one, I'll be using it in the next one. And I know the light kind of reflects off there, but they're just, they're medium weight clear plastic sheets. Um, and they're great, it's the perfect weight for what we need. Again, all the supplies that I have here, you get at JNS Hobbies and it's um, great, it's great. Now, this piece of, this sheet right here is some specialty paper, it's crocodile, it's kind of a crocodile-y print on there, see that? I love, 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 love this. It's kind of, it is paper, but it has a really nice, easily bend, and this we're gonna to use to wrap around our spine. This doesn't crack. Um, when I very first started using albums, and I was actually following Shelly, um, quite a few, uh, several years ago, 
Um, she is the one that introduced me to this and I absolutely love it. So it helps you um, not have any problems. So this one is in brown and it's the crocodile. And again, it's going to match perfectly with the paper that I have. We're also going to use some um, premium black cardstock from Black Cat. There's 50 sheets in here in the 60 pound, 65 pound weight, which is um, okay for most of your albums. So I'm pretty excited about that. This is Tyvek. And this is a piece that we'll use uh, just a little bit in each of our albums. And it's got some strength in it. It's got fibers in it so it doesn't rip. So it kind of helps in a couple of places in our spine not to, um, to give your spine some more strength. So that's what that is. Now here we go, folks. Here we go. Oh my gosh. This is Stamperium Sealand Scrapbooking. Now summer has come to an end for most of us. Um, and so when I look at this package, I think about warm summer days, which passed. So this is a must have in your collection, um, right now because you can get it, get your album made, and then you can get your summer pictures in there. So it's really a great timing to have this, um, this piece. Um, we, we often forget to print our photos um, or we leave them in our phones and then our phones, we don't get them transferred over or we get so many pictures we forget. So now's the time to get your summer pictures printed out and get this album made with the Stamperium Sealand um, paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. With that, we have some incredible flowers and these are from Vintage, um, from 49 Market. They're Vintage Shades Purport. I <laughs> can't say that word. Um, they're blue and that blue literally matches perfect in the blue right here. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. Then we also have a little package of flowers and these flowers, I am just trying to look here. Um, gosh, I do not see them on my list. These flowers they're roses and they're like antique-ish color. Um, there's a bunch of them and let's, let's just take them out so we can take a look. Oh my gosh. You see that? Oh my gosh. That on the cover is going to be absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? Wow. Let me put that back in there so I don't lose them or my dog doesn't eat them. I have a big dog. He doesn't climb up and stuff to get it, but you never know. This, I just want to bring this up closer. Are those not beautiful? And there's three, there's um, a few different sizes in here. There's small ones that we'll use throughout the book, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then some larger ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. Also included is this perfect, perfect, perfect um, ribbon. This ribbon is from Prima. And it's kind of, it reminds me of hemp rope for, ex and it, again, it matches perfectly with this. So when um, Mel was putting our package to get my package together, she uh, did a really good job of matching everything that needed to go together. So thanks, Mel. I really appreciate it. So it, when you put this up here, and I'm going to kind of move right down in here, and it just goes perfectly with what we're going to need it for. Okay, so now the last thing before I let you go for the day is I'm going to show you the paper. So this is Stamperia Sea Land Scrapbooking Collection. There's 10 sheets in a package and I'm going to use two packages to make this album and we're going to use all the pieces. So um, we will, um, but we're still going to get a nice size album out of it. So what I like to do is show you each page at a time just to give you some idea of what this beautiful paper is going to be. Now remember, don't ever throw your cover away because there's lots of pieces in here that you can use um, from that. So don't don't throw that away. Okay, <coughs> I'm going to scale in here just a little bit so you can see these two um, better this right here, and it's like old, old time antique-ish, which is perfect for me. We have some beautiful blue sea, balloon, hot air balloons, compass up here, down here, the water scene of our um, sailboats. When we turn this over, it is beautiful, that blue. And again, you guys, this is absolutely, look at this, perfect. Compass up in the corner, water down here, and there's that distressed writing in the background. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. 
This is a beautiful map with um, a captain's wheel right here. Beautiful brown. And this rope, I'm, this is what I'm telling you. When you lay our, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely perfect. Must have in your collections, folks. You got to have this. Here is a um, another page with a beautiful schooner, probably. I'm not really, don't know what their boats are called. In distress in the background is um, the map detail, some writing, and down here is our birds. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful distressed looking page there. Here is um, wood planks done in that beautiful blue to match everything. And then on the back side, it's that beautiful planks in the brown. You couldn't be without having your sea creatures. So we have our starfish, we have a sh um, spiral shell here, our seahorse. Um, I can't remember what, what shell that's called. It just escaped me. Big shells right here. Again, this is all in the background, just stressed. It's absolutely gorgeous. On the back of that is just our map. This is incredible paper. Again, it incorporates the, the hot air balloons back in here. Again, with the distressed map in the background. And this blue, oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. And down here in the bottom is an anchor. And then in the background is, this, is distressed with compasses. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh. This is a fun page. We'll probably, this will be a great piece to use right here, you guys. And oh my gosh, we'll have little cutouts right here. Lots of distressed writing in the background. And then down here is a really great piece with a compass, um, a postcard, and some different shells in there. Again, some more wood, different color. You can look at that either way. Now this is going to be really fun. On one sheet, we'll probably cut these out and use these because that is um, an incredible piece to use um, in our book. On the other page that we'll use, because you can get two of each of these, it's kind of wrinkly old paper and um, in a distressed look. So that will be a great piece for accents. And then we have this piece that has, these are four by six, isn't that great? So we'll be using um, these, but the most we're going to be using on this is these. Oh my gosh, can you see these? They're absolutely absolutely gorgeous. These are four by six, so we'll be using those in some of the places that we would be putting um, some four, um, paper that would be four by six. There's a water a bottle that's capped that probably has a note in it. Um, we've got a big schooner, we've got seashells, we've got that hot air balloon, we've got the um, captain's wheel, and that lighthouse incorporates all the paper that's in here. Now my very favorite piece of paper, oops, yes, I've saved it for last, it's not this page, but this page is absolutely gorgeous. We've got that, you know, you're standing back here in the beach, you're looking over and you see the, um, the horizon in the background. You've got your birds flying. The voices of the sea speak the soul. And that's what that says right there. I think that is so true. You know, whether you're looking out over the Oregon coast, um, Maine, um, Maine might be a little bit more rocky this, but even in, um, down in Florida, this is absolutely beautiful sand. So this is going to go for everybody uh, maybe you took a trip to Cancun or Mexico in the last year. This is a must-have paper. It kind of gets all your photos um, in the in the right place. Now here is the most beautiful piece of this whole collection. Oh my gosh. Maine, Oregon. I was on the Oregon coast a few years ago and we went to see not all the lighthouses, but we went through to see quite a few. We're heading back to the Oregon coast next year, so um, hopefully we'll get to see those again. They're absolutely gorgeous. So here is this beautiful lighthouse. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to use this on my front cover or not. The problem is, is this lighthouse is on the wrong side for my cover, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I might, I don't know, I might cut it out and move it over here is probably what I'm going to do because it is so incredible and it needs to be there. Um, and also it's a little bit tall, but we're going to, we're going to work on that before we get going. Okay. So that is everything that I received. Oops, oops, excuse me, excuse me. The other important thing is your chipboard. Now JNS Hobbies um, <clears throat> sells the chipboard that I've been using for quite a while. It is the perfect, the perfect way you guys. And, um, it is the medium weight chipboard. It's 12 by 12. This is black. Um, 
incredible. It's the best chipboard to use. I use nothing else but this. Um, I save all my scraps to make smaller albums. This is great. Um, it cuts great. It holds great. It, it's just, it's the perfect weight. If you get too much light, if you get lighter, it, you're, it doesn't hold up in your albums. And if too much, he it's heavier, it is really hard to cut and maneuver. So this is the perfect paper. So before I let you go, I kind of want to give you an idea and I hope to get some thumbs up in my video. Um, I will start my, my tutorial or my journey on this album soon. In fact, I've already started. But what I am like, liking to do is I'm going to make a few videos called Bonita's Basics. And what they're going to do, what they're going to be is I will refer you back to these basics so that when we're right making an album, um, I'm going to refer you back to this one basic um uh, tutorial so that we can spend some more quality time on putting our pages and stuff together. For instance, I'm going to have a Bonita's Basic and that will be showing you how to cover your chipboard um, before we get started for your cover. It won't it won't incorporate the paper, it will just show you your chipboard cu cut and I won't tell you the sizes because it won't matter on the size and how to actually put that cover that with your cardstock and ready to go. So then when you come into the tutorial for this beautiful paper, we will already have that top, the cover made and we'll go, okay, hey, let's go and make the cover with our beautiful paper. The same thing with my um, really fun waterfalls that use less paper. I'd like to make a Benita's Basic on how to put that together. Again, when I'm in my tutorial and I'm going to put that waterfall, which you'll see my waterfall on probably every album, I will say, hey, gosh, go prep your your paper, your cardstock paper for the waterfall by going to look at Benita's Basic's waterfall and then pop back into the video. And then when you pop back in the video, that piece is made and you're ready to go. So that's kind of my goal, and I have like three or four in mind. Um, if you like that idea, give me a thumbs up. If you think it's a terrible idea, you know, let me know. Make a comment. Say, hey, gosh, I don't want that. I want it all in all in one place. Um, I can do that. It just takes more more time. I like to make my tutorials no longer than an hour or right at that hour base. So um, it does take longer time. So I thought because I do my covers um, and I do several things, my spine system the same. I thought that would be some Benita's basics. Again, I'm looking for how to cover the album, how to make my waterfall, how to do my U-shaped spine system, and how to make my um, lovely envelope closure with the um, string and brads. Um, those are the four at the top right now that I will be making the Benita's basics. Um, so you'll be able to easily pop into my, my YouTube channel and you'll see Benita's Basics and you know that's right where you need to go. So again, if you like that idea, let me know. If you, if you, if you don't comment, say, hey, gosh, I don't want that. Just kind of give me an idea of what you'd like to see. So there you go. I'm super excited to get started in this album. And um, I, as soon as I get it done, I will get you the walkthrough and then we'll get the tutorials posted. So there you go, folks. Have a great day.